Welcome to the Freedom Gate podcast. I hope you guys are having a great time. Um, we're basically doing this to continue to have conversations around the Back to the Future series. We hope you guys are encouraged. We will be having a few people interviewing them and asking them a few questions and just going through and thinking together about this um, series we've just come out of. Um, it's really been incredible. Today we have uh, Shirley Ustesium. If I, cor- if I correctly pronounce the name, Shirley Ustesium uh, with us. So, yeah, so uh, welcome, Shirley. It's oh, great to have you. Thank you for having me at Shirley Ustesium. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yep. Of course, he's. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, Shirley, so Shirley, tell us about you. Your mic, your mic is on, eh? Like green lights on. So, tell us about yourself. Who is Shirley? Um, I'm Shirley Westhausen. I'm 55 years old. I'm a mom of three, and I'm married to Harat, mm. my wonderful husband. And we um, are have a lovely journey um, that we've walked in this church for over 15 years. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So Shirley, tell us, um, when did you get saved and uh, how was that journey? Paint that picture for us, for the guys that are watching. When did you get saved and how was that journey for you? Okay, it's uh, been a very long journey. It's Mm. been 15 years. I was saved in 2006. Uh, Very raw and um, it's been a journey of uh, adventure, Mm. of unpacking, of being put back on the the potter's wheel many, many, many times um, to... To where I am today, um, I'm really, really grateful that um, it's been a process, and it's still a process. Um, but it's been a, a journey that, um, yeah, that I'm so, so grateful to be mm. part of. Oh wow! Yeah. Sure. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into the conversation with the back to the series. Que- this question. So, um, what has been your previous experience with the end time theology? What has been your previous exper- experience with the end time subject and the end time theology? What has what has your experience been like in terms of the teachings you've experienced? Well, the normal teachings come from um, a lot of the time was was television mm. and um, on what the rapture was and what um, it looked like and um, the mark of the beast and who the antichrist was. Um, you know, Russia being the bear and um, the dragon being China and, you know, the <laughs> yeah. Antichrist will rise out of the East and all those things. And um, so it's something that I <clears throat> that I listened to mm. um, and I studied as well. Um, but I was never, I never had a settling in my heart about the truth. So I basically became a, um, a pan-millennialist. It, it's, I'm not really going to go down that road. Mm. Um, it will all pan out in the end. Because, <laughs> It'll all pan yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, that's good. And then uh, how has the series that we've done as a church, how has that opened up your, your mind uh, about the end? What, is, what has shifted? Like what has practically shifted in your understanding and how has your mind been opened up as we've been doing the series? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, on my journey in these last 15 years, it's been a, a journey to understand the goodness of God. Mm. Um, understanding that he's a god that's full of love Mm. um he's coming back for a victorious bride that's very good and it never settled um it was a head knowledge but Mm. it's become a heart knowledge now that he is coming back for a victorious bride Mm. and to be raptured in other words when you be driving a car and you are just going to be taken out and then you you know Mm. the rest of your family is just going to fall off a cliff it just didn't make sense to me. Sure. And so that is that is sort of unpacked. Wow. Um, sure. And settled a lot in my heart. And then the scripture that um, sealed this promise for me was Isaiah 9 verse 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there mm. will be no end. Wow. So there will be an increase of peace. Mm. Um, and that just, it was refreshing for me. Mm. And it made me feel as if this huge weight has been lifted off my off my shoulders. Sure. When I think about that, I get excited That's about okay. the end times. Yeah. So there's been there's been a lot of a lot of things that mm. um, David has unpacked. Yes. Which really sort of makes sense to me, mm. and I like things to make sense to me. Mm. Um, but I don't always like to investigate things. <laughs> so it was great that he did all the investigation, and yeah. I just make sense to me. So it was so, good. Yeah, I, I love what she said that it it was it was it was head knowledge, 
um, and the more we spoke about it, it, it hit you. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's because that's 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 basically the 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 pattern of the kingdom. It's from here to here, not from here to here. Yeah. And so that's really brilliant. I love I love what you said. Um, and then what lies have been broken? What lies have you believed about the end times? And then with this conversation going on, and then what lies have been broken as a result of that? Well, there's so many. Um, number one, that um, the rapture is basically um, an escapist mm. um, mentality. Sure. That, um, yeah, we, we're just going to be taken away and then the mm. rest of the world is just going to be forgotten about. Um, no, that we that we here to to go out and greet mm. Jesus when he arrives, and then we're coming back with sure. him. We're inviting him back. We come back in to rule and reign victoriously, and um, that was that was a big thing. Um, mm. The six 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 and the the um, the eschatology. Mm. Um, or the symbolisms, the sure. prophetic pictures, that all made sense to me yeah. because it related to the way they, the Bible speaks about things, you mm. know, the symbolisms and things like that. So, so that made a lot of sense to me. Um, so you can, re I could relate to, to all of that. And um, the apocalyptic language, I could mm. understand that, uh, that it relates to things that have happened mm. in the past. Sure. It's things that happened, um, you know the the abomination of desolation. I mean that that mm. blew me away sure. because wow. it is that was the destruction mm. of Jerusalem. Wow, it's not still to happen. Mm. It just made so much sense because I could I could tie these symbolisms symbolisms up with the scripture. Mm. Wow, it was scripturally sure. based. Yeah, um, and that um, the gospel is the way that we wage war. Yes, so sure. the That's war is good. between sin and righteousness. Yes, and it's sure. not this whole massive Armageddon thing with the mm. with the beasts and all that. I, it's just just brilliant. Come on, it was brilliant. Sure, brilliant. that is that is brilliant. And uh, last question: How mm. did this series challenge you personally? Um, well, it challenged me to um, interpret things in the light of things that. I understand. So the mm. things that I don't understand, yes. I can go back to scripture sure. and I can interpret it in the light of things that I do understand. Mm. That just set me free completely. Wow. Um, sure. It didn't put a heavy on me at all. And then um, the other thing that was just so brilliant was that heaven is wherever Jesus is. Mm. Sure. I was, I even get goose fish when I think about yeah, it. Yeah, come because on. Because Jesus is right here with us. Mm. So basically heaven is right here with us so come on that was just absolutely amazing and that the gospel will be successful as mm. we keep preaching it, yes you know sure um, so and that yeah we we just we just basically a generation of ushering in peace mm. so cool wow sure so thank you shelly thank Pleasure. you for really um joining us and and being with us so we're just going to continue with these conversations. That was really incredible from uh, just the perspective and what has been um, shifted in, in different people's minds and what, what has opened up. I, I like what Shelley has said uh, concerning the victorious position of the end times. I, li I like that. Um, I love that. So do stay tuned with more. And um, if you have some questions around the Back to the Future series, do WhatsApp them to the church cell phone number and we'll go through the questions and then we'll continue having conversations around uh, the back to the series back to the future series just understanding the end times just understanding god's position and just understanding the church's position in the end time conversation so um stay tuned for more thank you for joining we love you awesome <laughs>